Yeah, Shalom out there. Shalom. Right. Yeah, with us one second. Shalom, Shalom. All right, we are the brothers of Great Millstone Charlotte back at you with, a, with another live lesson. All right, just a quick little pre camp lesson before we get rolling. All right, but before we get started with this lesson, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Rakabadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth, and double salutations to all you Akim out there labor in the house of David, the elect. That's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom, Shalom to the elect, man. All right, so we back at you through the Holy Spirit of Rakakwadash, and we are in the spirit of what? Of hastening the day. All right, can you get that definition for me? Come. <clears throat> this is the word for hasten. It says Hawash, or it's H twenty three sixty three. It says to make to haste, make haste to hurry, to make haste to show haste, act quickly. Uh, hasten, come quickly. So pretty much, um, they got a saying in the military. It, it says, uh, "Walk with a purpose." Right. You know, so, so the elect is doing things with, with a purpose. You know. Mm -hmm. It says to enjoy, to be excited. So you should be excited. Uh, in these times, these are some uh, some great times. Exactly. It says to hurry <clears throat> figuratively, to be eager with the excitement or enjoyment. You see, because we're seeing the downfall of this uh, this devil. Mm. I'm gonna keep going. Yep. It says to come quickly. It says. To hasten, accelerate. That's pretty much it. it, it says to, that, that's the spirit. Hold on. It says to add. flee quick, quickly too. Oh, that's a good one too. Hold on, I want to add on to that. Read that last part where it says um, those last couple of definitions. Kind of says this is the word for hasten. It says or well, the definition to hasten, accelerate, to make haste, to flee quickly. Exactly to accelerate, as we've been talking about how uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Shah is accelerating the prophecies for the very elect. All right, just bringing this back again. This came out back in July. But it says the World Economic Forum says it will accelerate implementation of Globalist Agenda 2030, right? I'm putting it in the screen here, Lord, where you can see it, all right? But that's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, that's controlling all of this. And he's putting the spirit on these world leaders, starting with the, 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 the elites of Esau, to implement their final plans of this so-called global reset, all right, this new world order, all right? As brothers went into lessons... Uh, uh, over the past couple of days of the WEF saying that, look, in order for you to participate in society, you're going to have to take the uh, the device that goes under the skin. That's right. All right. So everything is hastening, man. The Lord is hastening the prophecies. Right. You have something. Come on. Come on. I got this one. Uh, book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why, you know, they have that Operation uh, Warp Speed, mm -hmm. that they're speeding up, you know, all these agendas. They're trying to make it quick because they know that, hey, they see Yahweh Shah coming. They see the prophecies, you know, be, uh, are coming to fruition. All the, Everything is lining up. They're seeing that we're right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, Israel's waking up. Everything is coming, you know, coming to pass. That's right. So they know that the kingdom is about to fall. Their their grasp on global dominance is is, is over with, man. Yeah, Gone. Exactly. We in the spirit of, you know, praying to Yahweh Bashim Shah to, to finish this place off. You know, mm -hmm. like that 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 these last remaining prophecies come to pass because what? What are we waiting on? We waiting for deliverance, man. That's right. right. You know, we we pray that we're under the Lord's mercy to receive of the standard, the hedge in that time of Jacob's trouble. To be covered from the nuclear destruction, John. right? That's that's the mind. That's the mindset we have. That's the that's the hastening of the kingdom of heaven. You know, you have something to borrow? Yes, sir. Um, this is a, a, a quick um, uh, post from the Washington Post, and it reads: yep. Ukraine is running out of ammo. So is the U.S. <laughs> so Ukraine, Ukraine, and America are running out of ammunition. That's All right, because right? remember it. Millions upon millions of dollars has been funded into this proxy war in Ukraine, right? <laughs> so now they're running out of ammunition. That's right. Right. Go ahead, Doc. Tell you no. It says, as the war in Ukraine rages with the uh, uh, Navy forces likely to begin a major offensive any day now. Both sides in the conflict are facing shortages of ammunition, electronic components. 
precision guided weapons and even cement. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty much the point. Yeah. Yep. So so what this means is that the military is vulnerable. That's right. Right? Can you run that back, Bubba? You said um a shortage of precision guided weapons? Yes, sir. Cause so it's a shortage of precision guided weapons here. And what that entails of is like field artillery that goes into um you know the different uh because pretty much like in like the 40s you know everything was like manual you know but being that it's a uh, precision guided weapons it's using electronics you know so being that it's a shortage you know um, it makes america weak mm -hmm. yeah exactly chinking yeah. the armor right mm -hmm. that's right right so let me let me bring this out all right because we just we're talking about hastening the day of the lord mm -hmm. second peter the third chapter that's right yeah. all right second peter three and one uh second peter three and nine all right Second Peter chapter three verse nine it says the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness. And look what's been happening over the past year, man. Everything, all these uh, uh, prophecies, all these crises, That's right. right? All these things that people counted for slackness is happening. <coughs> it's happening at a rapid rate, man. That's right. The the Bible is talking. The the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shai is speaking, man. All right. It yeah. says. As some men count slackness, is but is long suffering towards us, were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. And the only ones that's coming into repentance right now is the elect, the remnant, right? That are turning back to the Father, all right, through the Son. It says, But the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, the destruction. That's right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey, there's, like we talked about last week, that spirit of uh, that movie Oppenheimer that's coming out, man. That's right. All right. That's a prelude. Hold on, you got you got the Oppenheim Oppenheimer movie, then you got this heat wave. Yeah. That's burning mm -hmm. the shit out of everything across America, man. It's hot as hell out this bitch. That's right. Melting cars. Yeah, melting cars all the way from California to Texas, yep. all the way over here to the East Coast, man. You got Canada wildfire. Come on, Canada wildfire too, shit right? just uh, set ablaze. Yeah. <laughs> that's a prelude to what the Lord about to do to this bitch. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Right? So that's why what? We're hastening the day of the destruction, man. That's right. The Lord has given us those signs. It says... Verse 11, 2 Peter 3 and 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? That's right. Looking for, right? Mm -hmm. Looking for and hastening and hasting unto the coming of the day of power, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So this world, this world war that we're entering into is going to be a nuclear war, Jake. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And Esau, I watched the little. I gotta finish it, but there's a documentary. You brothers could look it up. It's on uh, Netflix right now. It's called uh, uh, "Killer Robots," mm -hmm. and Esau is breaking it down on how all the nations that are that are going to be in, involved in World War III all possess some form of technology that's going to fight in this war. All right, you got the robots, the drones, and shit, mm -hmm. super soldiers. Mm -hmm. Esau laying it all out on how this war is about to go down. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Isaiah, what did he say? He said, uh, uh, "Matter of fact, let's get it." They yeah. even got stuff that they haven't even released too that they don't show to the general public. Exactly, man. And, but the stuff that they do show to us, you know, we can see we can see that as far out. You know, so how much how much more in his arsenal, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Get that Isaiah nine and six, and I pass it to everyone. Oh, I got it. Yes, sir. You got it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Or nine and five. Nine and five. Yep. yep. This is Isaiah nine and five. It says, "For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, That's right, mm -hmm. and garments rolled in blood." But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right. So this war that's that's coming on the earth shall be with burning fuel of fire. That's right. This is what Isaiah saw. So going into our point in his lesson too, all the prophets of old all saw the destruction of Babylon, man, in some form or fashion. Right. They saw they saw the uh, they saw the future of this place, man. Right. And it was recorded and it was prophesied, man. You know. I got two. You got it. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah, also Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilences. All right, so Babylon, you know, is this not a great kingdom? It says, And great kingdoms of war, all right, we were prophesying of war, you know, as the prophets of old. It says, And of evil, all right, Eve is a is a time it was bad, all right, pretty much going into bad times, perilous times. That's right. You know, uh, like you mentioned the uh, the famine, 
You know, that's 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 a form of evil. It says and of pestilence. Yep. You know, so pretty much all the prophets spoke of the same things. Yes. I got yes. one more. Yep. This is Ezekiel chapter 21. Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 9. Because we're talking about the missiles, it says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord, a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbished. Alright, pretty much all these uh nations and countries is uh making their, their sword uh, uh sharper for battle going into the, the nukes that's right it says it is sharpened to make a slaughter slot a sore slaughter is it it is furbished that it may glitter should we then make mirth right contentment if the rod of my son is every green tree but pretty much the point you know the, these nukes are going to be used in uh ww3 in the time that we're coming up into right now yep mm -hmm. you think the earth is hot now oh yeah Whew. that's right wait till them wait till the missiles get launched that's right the war has come down man you, then you're going to really experience a heat wave. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I got a quick Go ahead. I, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. And we should know this. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And what's going to cause this place here to burn as an oven? Just like our elders say, you think it's hot now. Right? This place here is going to it's, it's gonna be so hot, man. Right? The very elements themselves are going to melt, man. That's right. You see that? And human flesh is made of what? Water. Right, so a lot of people they're going to be incinerated or evaporated and viscerated in the days to come. You yes, see that if you don't seek the Lord, mm -hmm. and, it, and it reads, continuing on, and all the proud, ye, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And as a matter of fact, me, uh, the brother Yuam, and also Kwan Wap, we did a lesson just yesterday talking about the proud man. That's right, mm -hmm. you got a lot of people out here that's in this very proud, pompous spirit. You individuals are going to be left here and turn into nest quick, man, yes, if you don't seek the Lord. That's it. Until you know, it says, uh, um, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them, it shall neither leave them root nor branch. You That's see right. that? So, you know, we know who, who the wicked is, right? Which is Esau, either the so called white man, but our people have become just like the heathen, man. That's right. Wicked too. Scriptures tell you that our people have surpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Right, so this is why you individuals out there need to seek your power, Yahweh, who the word ignorantly calls God, and also Yahweh Shah, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus, man. That's right, brother. You see that? I'm gonna continue on. Verse 2, Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. But unto you that fear my name, did you hear that, man? To you that fear the name of the Lord, man. You got groups out here telling you, you know, that we don't have the name of the Lord. Still, still talk about most high blessed, right? Fucked right. out. All right. It says, but to you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And how is your shot going to deliver those men, man? Right? Through the chariots, man. That's right. Who war ignorantly calls UFOs. And 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 ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Until you know, and ye shall tread down the wicked. You see that? Because also we're gonna have these heathens in hardcore captivity, man. Right. If you believe in Yahweh Ba Shimmy I was shot. That's right. Let's keep going. For they shall it's like, for there shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. You see that? So the point is, this day is coming, man. It's vastly approaching. You know, we are definitely in them times. As a matter of fact, you just had the article come out talking about the uh, the World Economic Forum, right? How they're going to make it mandatory yep. to implant to uh, to uh, implant people right under the skin, man. Right, so all the prophecies, they're definitely speeding up, man. And this is why we hasten to the coming of the day of the Lord. That's right, that's He's right. Coming. You that's right, and that's why it's a hard time for us to wake out of sleep. All you that's Israelites right. out there, man. Right. The, hey, the Lord the Lord got the spirit so heavy upon the prophets that he's making this thing so plain. Yeah, yeah. Right? I grab it. That there is no excuse for any Israelite on the planet Earth right now, man. That's right, that's right. Yahweh is about to come, and the destruction is about to go down, man. That's right. You it. either You either covered... All right, with the hedge, or yeah. you not, man. That's right. You either got the exemption or, or you don't. That's right. You got it, brother. I got the Habakkuk chapter two. Anybody can speak on this. Yeah, yeah. Habakkuk chapter two, and we'll start at verse one. It yep. means I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he shall uh, shall say unto me That's and it. what shall I answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. And it reads, and the Lord, Yahweh shall will shy, answer me and said, write the vision. Make it plain, you see that, upon tables that he may run that readeth. I said these prophecies being made plain. Made very plain. It's in your face. Continuing on. Uh, Habakkuk 2, 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. All right? And they may, 
we are at the end and these things are speaking man and if you can't see it you either got your eyes covered or your ears covered man. that's right it's like you and and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry yeah you got it. so the prophecies are speaking this man's system the image is speaking that's right all right this this ai digital uh 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 a uh, system that's being pushed, all right. The C hip, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, uh, everything going digital, yep. right. It's it's all in your face, man. That's right. Right. And the and the point. Let's get that in Second Ezra fourteen. Back to my point is that the prophets all saw the the, the divisions and destruction of the end, man. That's right. The top. Right. Yep. Sorry, at the top. This is Second Ezra chapter <clears> fourteen <throat> and verse one. It says, and it came to pass, upon the third day, I sat under an oak, and behold, there came a voice. Of a bush over against me and said, Esdras, Esdras, I said, Here am I, Lord, and I stood up upon up upon my feet. Then said he unto me in the bush, I did manifestly real, reveal myself unto Moses and talk with him when my people served in Egypt, and I sent him and led my people out of Egypt. Right. So the heavenly Father uh, Yahweh was dealing with Moses, man. You know what I'm saying? He revealed a lot of deep mysteries to Moses, man. Go ahead. And brought him up to the mount. Of where I held him by me a long season. Yeah, the forty days and forty nights, where he uh, basically he communed uh, with Moses. Go ahead. And told him many wondrous things, and showed him the secrets of the times. And showed him the secrets of the times. Go ahead. And the end, and commanded him, saying. And the end. So Moses saw the end. Yeah. And how do we know that in the book of Deuteronomy thirty-two, the Song of Moses, man? Right. Mm -hmm. Where the Lord said, uh, 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 "Allow those arrows to punish the uh, uh, the enemy." Basically. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He said that. Uh, in the lack of better words, that he was going to allow his sword to be bathed in heaven, man. Mm -hmm. Right? He was prophesying about the missiles, man, the warheads. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. These words shalt thou declare, and shalt, and it's like, these words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide. And now I say unto thee, thou, that, that thou lay up in thy heart the signs that I have shewed thee, and the dreams that thou hast seen, and interpretations which thou has heard yeah 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 so he opened his mind man he showed moses you know the the the, the creation the yeah, beginning that's right you know in, everything in between the ends and some things that he hid as it said that's right right go ahead for thou shalt be taken away from all and from from henceforth thou shalt remain with my son and with such as be like thee until the times be ended that's it man so the breakdown in the prophecies were given to the elect man that's right and as the scriptures say that the prophets will continue to come back in their lot and to what it to us all said and done that's right so we back here in this final captivity hastening the day of the lord that's right the prophets that have been raised up in babylon man you know so we back now waiting for what the promises man the destruction to partake in the salvation and promises and see the destruction of babylon and various parts of the earth man to see these heathen uh, captivities of uh, these heathen nations go down. That's right. You know? That's right. So, so, yeah, you, let's yeah. get one more and we'll wrap it. I got a quick precept. You got it. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. And it says, Surely the Lord our power will do nothing, right? But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. You see that? So we know, as a matter of fact, scriptures tell you that uh, we know all things, roughly paraphrasing. That's right. He gave us a holy unction that we yeah. know all things, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Lord gave us enough. He, the Lord gave us enough we need, uh, enough wisdom in this body, in this, in this flesh, that we need to get up out of here, man. The that's prophecies, right. the breakdowns, the wisdom that's going to allow us to make it out of here to get the, to receive salvation in those chariots, man. That's right. Right? That's right. So that's pretty much the point, man. Hey, you brothers out there, sisters that believe, continue to hasten, man. Uh, things are moving rapidly. Things are moving fast. All right, but that all declares that what? That we are almost out of here, Lord willing, man. That's right, that's right. So we pray that this quick lesson was edifying. We'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth, and double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring worldwide with, with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. Hey, shalom.